So one of the things I get asked in my lessons down here at Trafford Golf Centre the most is how different are range balls to normal golf balls? We're going to test the Strixon range ball here down at Trafford Golf Centre against the Strixon AD33 and see how the stack up. We're going to be looking at distance and we're going to be looking at spin. We're going to hit four wedges, four seven irons and four drivers and see how they come out. I think personally it's not going to be too far away but who knows, only numbers will tell. Let's have a look right now. So we've got the flight scope set up, we're going to be hitting four shots with each, like I say, wedge, seven iron, driver. We're going to start off with the wedge, then I'm going to move into the seven iron, then I'm going to do the driver with the range balls, then we're going to stack up the um, AD33s against how these perform. So let's get hitting, we've got the flight scope totally normalised, so everything should be the same. I think we are in for an interesting test here. So first shot, gonna hit my normal swing, see what happens. See if we get distance or spin differences. So one thing to know about a range ball, depending on the size of the range that you've got, you might actually get limited flight golf balls. For us here at Trafford Centre, we've got a massive outfield, not much around it, and the ball won't really leave the premises that much. Some ranges have roads by them, buildings, whatever it may be, so you can actually get golf balls that are limited in flight. So you might go to your local range, there's a road running down the side of it, so the ball might be a 50% golf ball. So you might see that your driver, you're expecting it to go to 250, but it's gonna drop quite a bit of the flight off it. So that's where the perception that range balls don't go that far. It's all to do with trying to keep it safe, basically, when we're at the driving range to see that it's not leaving, hitting cars, hitting people, and so on and so forth. Ours here at Trafford Golf Centre are full flight golf balls, so we should theoretically see the same results from the range ball as we do the Strix and AD33. The only thing is, we hit about 50,000 golf balls a day, so they're going through the system, they're getting hit, they're getting picked up, they're getting washed and churned through the machines, so is that gonna alter the performance of the golf ball? Let's keep going and find out. One thing I would say so far, that with the wedge and the range ball, they don't really feel any difference, and the flight that I'm seeing from them isn't what I would expect to see any different from when I would be out using a normal golf ball. So it'll be interesting to see how the results stack up. Let's go with this last seven iron now. We're pretty close to the numbers I would expect to see from a seven iron. Nice, right, onto the driver. Four shots with this, then the same process with the Shrixen AD33s, then we're going to look at the results at the end, so stay tuned. Also guys, remember, do hit the subscribe button down below if you want your free golf lessons and you want free golf content every week, I'm here for you. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification, let's smash some drives. Be interesting to see what um, comes from the results with the driver because if we look where well, we've just struck that it is pretty much spot on every time a slight high one but all looking pretty decent so let's head over now tricks and ad 33s see what we get with those Time for the wedge now with the Strixon AD333. Four of these, then moving through, seven iron and driver. Let's see what we get. One thing I would say, they go remarkably higher, the Strixon AD33. That is interesting. Whether that's to do with more spin, we shall find out when we get to the end. Keep it going. Feel a little firmer. Again, another high ball flight there. Very interesting. Right, so we're gonna go on to four with the seven iron now of the AD33, the Strixon here. Lovely looking ball, mid-range price, 19.99 a dozen. That we just paid for these in the shop. Um, good ball overall. Generally, probably the, the most popular Strixon ball, I would say, on the market.
interesting here seeing the same flight that I saw with the range ball with the the real ball with the wedge the real ball dramatically higher as we went through it so be interesting to see what carries on with driver as we go through this onto the driver now interesting there my seven irons are probably the worst seven irons I've hit so it'll be interesting to see how they how they stack up in terms of distance and spin when we get to the end so four more shots and then we'll look at all the data at the end of this okay so the results are in but what i would say firstly we've got to take for account human error i hit i think the shaft the grip the toe and the bottom of the driver when i was using the strixon ad33 versus the range ball i found the middle every single time so in this test there is obviously room for my error of strike but that being said quite interesting numbers at the start of the video i said i expected them to be very very tight we use the strixon ad33 with a different cover on it but like i say it's out on the range a lot it's been hit over 50,000 times a day there's going to be some wear and tear on them the wedge when we found that the range ball we saw that it goes 132 yards carry with an ad33 it goes 137 so only five yards distance in there the actual ball speed is only three miles per hour less with a range ball the spin with the actual AD33 was a little bit less for me, so it was 3,766 versus 4,785 with the range ball. So the range ball actually spinning more there. We move into the 7 iron, again a similar trait. 7 iron, 168 with the range ball. With the AD333, we see that it's 174, so only six yards in there. Again, ball speed, literally bob on 125.3 with the um, the normal golf ball with the range ball 125.6 then we get to the driver and like i say this is almost a little bit unfair because i hit the driver all over the face but you know that's what's going to happen when we are out playing golf with the ad triple three we get 259.8 yards really poor strikes with the range ball we get 260 yards 0.9 ball speed we see that it's 162 with the real, 163 with the range, so very similar. So it would be interesting if I would have middled the driver a bit more, I would expect to see that we would see a little quicker ball speed coming off there. In terms of spin, both very much the same, 2,090 with a range and 2,200 with a real ball. One of the things I did make a comment about was the height that the balls were flying during that test and with the wedge we see that it goes 117 feet peak with the Strix and AD triple three and 104 with a range ball so that was a real noticeable distance for myself but like I said at the start of the video I expected it to be very very tight and we can see from those numbers there that it is so do range balls go any uh, less down here at Trafford Golf Centre no we're seeing that they're pretty much very very similar numbers um, like I said earlier on in the video, depending on which range you're going to, we might see that it will be different and different because of the ball they're using and the quality of golf balls. So a very interesting test there, guys. If you want me to do more stuff like this, hit that like button for me. Also drop me a comment. Did you think it was going to be the same? Thanks for watching this. Always remember to subscribe for your free golf lessons and free golf tips. And I'll see you in another lesson very soon.